Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Nassau County Courthouse in Florida with Lana, a.k.a. Big Rusty's uh, little girlfriend. I mean, they do make a cute couple. But at any rate, he is at the local courthouse because, well, of reasons, and he ends up getting kicked out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hey, I still do a public records request. You need a public records request? Yeah. So can I do it verbally? Yeah, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I'm at Watts for this office. I just need to know how many cases you guys have and how many cases you guys plead out. How many cases we have currently? Com right, compared to how many you plead out for, like, say, the past 30 days. That's a good question. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. It's probably still going to be a clerk of courts. Clerk of courts? Probably. Okay. Um, because the, the clerk... Keeps all that information? Record, ...record all of the cases that are opened by the state mm -hmm. and then how they close out. Hey, Lana, can you please explain uh, what value that information is to you? And I mean, and for any reason whatsoever, I mean, it just doesn't seem logical at this point. But hey, nothing's logical about a fraudster to begin with. So let's carry on, shall we? Oh, deposition. Hey, Lana, can you read properly? Because it says deposition room, not disposition room. I mean, even for a fraudster, that sounds really stupid right there. But please carry on with your inane stupidity and let's see how much more you can produce. Oh, look, she's got a pretty, pretty princess. I love it. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good, you? All right. Sergeant Livingston, you can't record inside the courthouse. I'm sorry? You're not allowed to record inside the courthouse. Uh, and who said that? Uh, Judge Daniel, actually. Lana, I know what you're going to say, and it's not true. The judge has uh, complete control over the courthouse. He can ha restrict filming within it uh, per his wishes. And, and with good reason, too, because, you know, attorney-client privilege and filming of jurors is not exactly the correct thing to do, despite what you may think about that. So there's a request in here, too, if you choose to, that you want to do that. Well, I'm just in the public areas. That's right. a, that has to do right. with the courtroom. Yeah, this is the courthouse. Well, but he can't restrict what's yeah. in the courthouse. He did, so. Okay, so what if I don't stop recording? Well, you could be held in contempt. Okay, so you're going to arrest him, basically. I'm just asking. Yes. Okay. I mean, and that's just because Judge Daniel. So if I don't leave right now and stop recording, then I'm gonna be arrested. Well, we're just asking you to. And, if you, and if you choose to. If you tell me you're gonna arrest me, then well, I'll look, be. Well, I don't need request. to look. There's. I don't. It's unconstitutional. Request for permission. So. You said so. you're J. P. Livingston. Yes, Sergeant okay. Livingston. Sergeant. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you know that he only has authority inside the, uh, in the courtroom. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Citation needed, please. I mean, if you're going to pull something like that out of your ass, why don't you show us wh which Supreme Court ruling said that? I mean, if you know it, then show it. But if you don't know it, then you can't show it. Can't restrict it in the public hallways and public lobbies. So, okay. yeah. So. All right. So if I don't stop recording, you're going to arrest me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now I'll leave under threat of arrest. All right. Yeah. Okay. You have everything. Yeah. All right. But if you like a copy answer? of this, Bennett. Okay. Thank you. If you like a copy, of this, you'd like sure. A copy of this. Yeah. And then back here in the report, the back end of it. So you have, you know, permission to record. Yeah. Like you know, you swore an oath to the Constitution, right? Yes, ma'am. And, and the sheriff's yes, department works specifically for. Yes, for people, mind, right? Yeah. And you know this is unconstitutional. Lana, I've got an idea for you. How about uh, doing this? 
Instead of saying it's unconstitutional and seeing if the spaghetti will stick to the wall, how about you do this? You challenge the constitutionality of it in the Supreme Court. You file a lawsuit and you try to get it all the way up there and see how far it goes. But of course you'll never do that because it would probably destroy your little narrative here, wouldn't it? Um, I'm, I'm just saying, like the, yeah, you know, so. it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's still unconstitutional, and the sheriff's department is supposed to work for the uh, for the people. You know that, right. right? You don't work for the state; you work for the people, and you honor, you swore an oath. So I'll pull your your oath of honor, your uh, oath of office, and all that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, this is not going to look good on your department. It happens. Yeah, I'm sure it has. It's actually happened before, huh? No, <laughs> you know it has. <laughs> Your idle threats are not exactly going to intimidate this officer to change his mind. So please try again. <laughs> multiple times and there's been other incidents. Right. So. So. Have you ever been to the courthouse before? Oh, I, I go to all of the country in the courthouses. No, so. I mean, have you been to this one? This one? No, it's the first time this uh. one. Yeah. But, uh, but funny enough, it's like, you know, I go into courthouses all over, the, even in this county, for example, right. I've been to another courthouse and they don't have an issue with it. So. Well, Lana, I don't think they would have an issue with it because, well, you're lying right now uh, because I did a search of uh, courthouses in Nassau County and there's only one courthouse in Nassau County, Florida. But you know, you gotta lie to fraud it. But let's carry on with the show, shall we? Um, you good. I mean, you're supposed to have transparency, and they're trying to restrict transparency, so that's kind of a shameful thing. Right. Well, in the courthouse here, it's mainly you have a I mean, lot you of have, you have stuff. Do you have something to hide? Why is it always about hiding things uh, with you idiots? I mean, the other people do have rights that need to be protected, such as victims' rights. I mean, you've got attorney-client privilege. You've got sensitive information inside of courthouses that doesn't need to be revealed to the public because it might jeopardize a case. You guys never really think this thing to its logical conclusion, do you? Which is why you'll probably never win these anyway because, well, you two are too stupid to make a rather cogent argument anyway. I don't know, man. So, I mean, what's the point of the... That's just something the judge says. I'm just... But you're supposed to judge. enforce your, your oath to the Constitution, not to a judge. Right. Well, the judge signed orders for the courthouse. Yeah, but his yeah, orders don't mean anything. If they're unconstitutional, you're not supposed to... Uh, you're not supposed to enforce them, so. Well, but, if you request the. No, I don't need to. I don't need it. I don't ask. To him, I don't. I don't. Him I don't ask for permission for uh, right. the exercise of constitutional rights. Yes, ma'am. So. Yeah, give them. You'll be seeing me. And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, piss poor arguments coming out his ass every single time he opens his damn mouth. I mean, he just can't help it. He just gotta lie all the damn time. But you know what? You wouldn't be a frauditor if you couldn't lie your ass off anyway. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.